Today we're going to look at how to read the vernier scale on calipers. Get pretty uh, very precise measurements with this inst measuring instrument. Um, this particular caliper will measure it up to uh, 1,000 with a precision of one thousandth of an inch. And this one has two different uh, units, inches in the bottom and millimeters on the top. In millimeters, it, it will measure up to a tenth of a, of a millimeter. But today we're going to forget, we're going to ignore the metric system because in aviation all we have is uh, standard for the most part. So we're going to look at how the veneer scale on a slide caliper can give you how to read it so you can get that level of precision up to one thousandth of an inch. Uh, for starters, let's look at one inch. One inch, you're probably familiar with the normal divisions of inches uh, in halves, quarters, uh, eighths, sixteenths, thirty seconds, sixty fourth, etc., etc., going down the line, dividing by half. That is not the divisions that we use here to get that type of precision in aviation or in machining work and in industry uh, To get that type of precision and it's easier to work with uh, We divide the inch into ten equal parts um, If you look at we'll start from the beginning in, in the vernier scale, which is this right here the zero is your pointer the zero is what gives you what you're supposed to be looking at to get your reading for the size of whatever it is you're measuring. For example, now we're looking at exactly one inch. This is zero, that's one inch, that's two, three, etc., etc. That inch, if you look at the divisions, you have one, two, three, four, five, all the way to ten. That inch is divided into ten equal parts. If you look even closer, each tenth of an inch is divided into four equal parts. The first division, those are tenths of an inch. So you have ten tenths of an inch, where a half inch would be five tenths of an inch, or a half inch. If you divide a tenth of an inch into four, now you're getting into hundreds and thousands. Uh, each one of these little tick marks is equivalent to 25 thousandths. Picture dividing that uh, that tenth of an inch. Let's see here. That one tenth of an inch divided into four equal parts. Uh, if I tell you that this one tenth of an inch is divided into a hundred parts, you have a hundred thousandths here. This would be two hundred thousandths. This would be three hundred thousandths. A half inch would be five hundred thousandths of an inch. Five hundred out of a thousand one thousandths uh, of an inch is, is a half inch. So if you have a hundred little divisions here, but only marked every twenty-five thousandths of an inch, that would be each one of those hundred divisions here would be one thousandth of an inch, which is the level, level of precision that this particular caliper will give you. You're reading to the third decimal place. Now, if I bring that zero, let's say, to about there. Actually, no, I will start here. That zero, again, the zero is your pointer. That's where you're taking your initial readings from. That is pointing to the first 25 thousandths of an inch. But what if it's a little before that? How do you know exactly where where your pointer is? Is that nine thousandths? Is that twelve thousandths? That is where the veneer scale comes in. This this division here, these marks that go from zero to twenty-five. Those are your one thousandths divisions. What the veneer scale is doing is taking that division there and zooming that out, blowing that up so that we can go in and take a look and take a reading. This here from zero to 25 
is the equivalent of going from zero to 25 thousands here. And what you can read here is where in that 25,000 you are. And the way you read that is, starting from, again, from your pointer from zero, you start sweeping, panning to the right, until you get one of these tick marks that line up with one of those tick marks. The first one to line up, that's your reading. So I would say this is between nine and ten thousandths. So the size you're measuring, you would be measuring now, where your pointer is, is pointing to, since you can't read it over here, you come to the vernier scale, you look for the tick marks that line up, and I would say we're looking at ten thousandths. That is the first one to line up. We could argue that nine is also lining up, but we'll call it ten. Because nine is lining up, eleven is lining up, so in between we have ten. We'll go for ten. For example, let's say we're measuring some. Actually, let's actually measure something. Let's see. We have bottom of this bottle. We'll measure diametrically. We'll follow a line. We'll call this. I'll leave that there. We're looking at whole inches. We have one, two whole inches. And then into we'll get into tenths, and then we're gonna start taking our reading moving down decimal places. We start with a whole inch, we have two whole inches, so that's two point. Then we get into tenths of an inch, so we have 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. Our pointer is past the four, so we're looking at 2.4, and then we have a little bit after that. So so far we're at 2.4 inches. Plus, and now we get into hundreds and thousands of an inch. We, let's find out how far past the four tenths we are. So far we know we're, we've, our pointer at zero has already gone past the 25 thousandths, 50 thousandths, 75 thousandths of an inch. So right now we're looking at 2.475. But we're a little, we're not done yet, we're a little past the 75 thousandths mark. And we get, just like in the previous example, we want to find out how far past that 75 thousandths we are. But we don't have any tick marks there. That's when we zoom that out and we look at the vernier scale. So we pan across the vernier scale, we look for the first tick mark on the vernier scale to line up to these tick marks. And we're looking at about, uh, I'd say, 15 thousandths. 15 thousands looks, looks pretty good, so we go uh, 75 thousands, and we're 15 thousands past the 75. So that's 75 thousands plus 15, that puts us at 90 thousands. We are, what the bottle I just measured is 2.490. So that's 2 inches and 490 thousands of an inch. Two inches and four hundred and ninety thousandths of an inch. That's cheat. And go for a digital, which will give you give us an instant numerical reading. I don't know how calibrated this one is. This is from Harper Freight. But look at that, two point four eight nine and a half. So. I would call that 2, point, 2, point, 2 inches and 400 and I would call that 90 thousandths. I wouldn't say that's pretty bang on. There you go. I hope that uh, helps a little. I hope that uh, that was simple enough to follow on how to read the vernier scale on a caliper. Uh, just because I had prepared another sample piece to hopefully make it a little, a little easier to see, this shouldn't be necessary because it should have been clear by now, but we'll use it anyways. This is a printout, an oversized printout of the, the scale.
the, the, the calipers. And this particular one is looking at three inches and four inches. They're looking at the one inch blown up oversized, so to make it easier to see. But we're looking at the span, the one inch span between three and four inches. Again, divided into ten equal parts. So we're looking at da, 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 right here between three and four inches. Ten equal parts, that's what we're looking at down there. And the veneer scale is what we're looking at here. This is a veneer scale. This is on the slide. This is where you're taking your reading. Again, the zero on the veneer scale, that's your pointer. That is giving you the reading of whatever size you're measuring. Not here, but the zero. Zero is your reading. So. Again, this is your straight inches divided into 10 equal parts. Each tenth of an inch is further subdivided into four equal parts, meaning uh, divided into 25,000 divisions, totaling 100,000 for every tenth of an inch. Now, if zero is your pointer, and you wanted to find out, ah, we'll, we'll, we'll start here. You wanted to find out how far past the three inches you are. You're not quite at 3.1. You're not at three and 50 thousandths. You're just below three and 25 thousandths. How far into that 25 thousandths? That's when you come into here. Again, you take that 25 thousandths division and you blow it up and you zoom out. That is what the veneer, that is the concept behind the veneer scale. Start, start at your pointer at your zero and start panning across until you get one that lines up. There you go. We're looking at right here. Your pointer is at 15 thousandths of an inch. If we come to here and line up your pointer to the first 25 thousandths, that should coincide, and it does, with 25 thousandths. The pointer is looking at 25 thousandths of an inch. This right here, the pointer is at 50 thousandths, because that's 25 thousandths. Another 25 thousandths, which we're looking at here. The pointer, the zero, is at 3 inches and 50 thousandths of an inch. Uh, that's pretty simple once you understand the principle behind the veneer scale. And I hope that helps. And that's it.